Hey, what's up? My name is Colby Sharp. I'm a fifth grade teacher in Michigan. Welcome to my channel where we try to help kids fall in love with reading by talking about awesome books. If you're new here, subscribe, please, so that you can be notified anytime we talk about awesome books like this. Today, we're talking about Clarice the Brave by Lisa McMahon. This phenomenal middle grade book is really awesome. It's, and here, before we get into what it's about, I don't usually read books with animals that talk to each other. It's just not my thing, especially when the animals that talk to each other are in our world, but they can talk to each other. That, that tends to not be my favorite type of book, but this book I loved. It's about Clarice, and Clarice and her brother, uh, Charles Sebastian, live on a boat, like kind of like old school boats here, you know, we're back in, back in the day a little bit. And they, there's like a, uh, like a mutiny, and then the captain gets kicked off the boat, and Clarice gets stuck in the little boat with the captain, and Charles Sebastian stays back at the boat, and so that they're separated, and then their mission is going to be to get back together and reunite. Um, and Clarice is super worried about her brother. Charles Sebastian is pretty worried, just in general, and about himself. Uh, and it's just wild, and there's a cat. There's a cat that is in the little boat, and like all the people on the little boat are like running out of food, they're running out of water. Curry's is worried she's gonna get eaten by the cat. It's just this wild adventure about like two characters trying to come back together, trying to find them, find each other, trying to reunite. And you just meet all you just meet all these characters, the all these that were on the ship, and there's other pets and other animals. And it's just a wild journey. And I think readers are gonna really dig it. They're gonna not be able to stop turning pages. That's how I was like, I read it all over the course of a week and I just couldn't stop reading. I just didn't want a vacuum. I didn't want to fold laundry. I just wanted to keep reading and reading and reading. And it's really cool because it does not necessarily chapter to chapter. Sometimes there's two in a row, but they'll go from like a Clarice chapter where we're on like the little boat and we're in Clarice's journey to a Charles Sebastian chapter where we're back on the main vessel. Uh, and you can kind of see how they're their stories come back together. My students, I was giving them the similar book talk. They, I was telling them about it and they were like, oh, kind of like Pax, how Peter and Pax are trying to get back together and the chapters go back and forth. I'm like, look at y'all making connections. I'm so proud. So if you were looking for an epic adventure, a tale like no other, you want to see if they can get reunited and back together, bring their family back together, not get eaten by cats or hens or get thrown off ships or drown. There's all kinds, it's just page turner. Can't stop reading it, Lisa McMahon. She does that to readers. Clarissa Brave by Lisa McMahon, check it out. It's amazing. <sighs> Sorry for talking so fast, I'm just really excited. My name is Colby Sharp. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you have an awesome, fantastic day.